in mind the fact that the base quarter has changed. So uh, comparing it with our poll is uh, perhaps not the best way to do it. Our poll was expecting a revenue growth of almost 18.7%. And in line of that, the company has uh, posted a revenue growth of 20%, which is not a bad thing. Another thing is that the EBITDA margins have expanded sharply to that 22.8% mark. And this is despite ad expenses growing from 120 crores to about 150 crores. The key thing to know for uh, Imami is the sales that Cash King has uh, uh, delivered in this quarter. That is something that we'll get to know from the management. But my sense is initially it looks like a decent set of numbers, not really above all estimates or mind-blowing or sorts, but it's not as bad as what the street is considering as well. And on the net profit front, 56.6 crore versus 87.7 crores. Uh, uh, and this includes 60 crore worth uh, increased amortization. This is something that the street was working with. So if we do adjust for that, the net profit is around that 115 crore mark, which is above the estimate. So this is not really a bad set of numbers. Optically looks weak because of NDS, but uh, I, I, I reckon also the valuations would come into picture because the stock trades at 47 times. And we'll have to know the Cash King performance for that. EBITDA margins good, total income growth of 20% good. The volume growth and the outlook is something that the management will be best placed to explain. Yes, absolutely. We'll come back to you once.